it's so early but it's really weird because it's still summer in the uk it's really weird to be at the airport which is where i am now it's weird to be here and it's actually light where is david right we've just arrived at heathrow i'm gonna be filming this i'm so excited so um basically this is our wedding anniversary and we've decided to go to venice which we've never been to before and i'm so excited i can't even tell you the most stressful bit i really hate packing it's my actual thing that i stress about the most i need some man strength there thanks right please god can this not be moment of truth this is over i think oh, oh 20.5 what do I need to do? Printing yeah, bag, do thank you. Can you put all this stuff away? I can. See you in Venice. It's, we wanted to get here a bit early because I find whenever we come to the airport, we get here, you know the two hour thing? Well, by the time- not many people want to stay longer in the terminal. No, no, it's not that. It's just that I like, for now, my holiday starts now. So I want to have like a nice leisurely breakfast. What do you mean? Look your around the shops. two years ago when you started YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, 2012. Yeah, your holiday started <laughs> when you married me. <laughs> Down here we've got duty free um, and because we're at Heathrow you have things like Louis Vuitton, Chanel like an actual boutique, uh, kind of limited the stuff that you get in it. I'm so excited, here we go. Not because of this, because of the holiday. Chanel, here we go. That's a nice jacket, look at that. You have to be drunk. No. Like Why? I quite like the shape of it is what I'm going for here. I like the other camera. Yeah, that's nice. Don't know if I can film. Just going to do it until I get told off and asked to leave. Uh, it's all gone. Oh, they're nice. What do you think of those? Yeah, they're nice. All the, the gold, gold ones. ones they do them in men's sizes, do you know that? Yeah. I always tell you this. Hey, guess what, guys? <laughs> no one's... No one, no one's seen me filming yet. I think this is the most relaxed <laughs> I've ever filmed in Chanel before. Uh, I don't think we have time to sit down. <laughs> This always happens, like, we go to the gate, the gate gets called and Sophie wants to sit a, down and have no, no, a three-course no. meal. No, no, well, that's not true. We do have or no, we walk past a shop. She goes, oh, I didn't know it was here. Let's go in. Let's try some shoes on. Oh, no, they don't fit. Let me try us a bigger size. Five minutes till the plane, like, we, we end up running to the gate. Ladies and gentlemen, please attention all our passengers traveling to Venice this morning over the 8578. Welcome to your boarding gate, which is gate 821. We've, we've just arrived, we're in the taxi and the view is incredible. So we're going over this bridge now towards Venice and some of the, um, where's that haunted island do you think? Over the other side. Oh is it? Oh and also. <laughs> <laughs> what? Good evening. So, David and I have come out this evening. We're going to go and get some dinner, but before we do that, we're thinking, look, let's just do this gondola ride thing. You can't come to Venice and not do a gondola ride. And David was saying earlier he's just looking for someone, the driver. Where's the driver? I don't know. It's really wobbly. I'm like the man. I'll be the man. Wow. It's quite um, detailed, isn't it? It is. Poor David's just been like, shall I go and take you some photos? You're so sweet. <laughs> He's just been up the other end doing like a ton of photos. You're very kind. Yeah. That really is love, that is. Thank you. I don't know why, your camera phone, like your camera on your phone does a better picture than mine. <laughs> on the day I die, I'll remember this. The day, 
Did your gran ever do a gondola? Uh, I don't think she did actually, no. She did, did just about... Did no, I feel like my gran has done pretty okay. much everything travel-wise. Oh, look, 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 oh dear. That's tight. That's really... Is he gonna make it? Yeah, he... oh, that's clever. He like tips the boat. Do you see that? Yeah. That's, that's technique. We walked around the corner from where the gondola is and there's another gondola here actually but we found this really nice restaurant that is my camera skills are so rubbish it's always when i go to edit it it's like juddery so here we go Look, right next to the gondola on the canal i mean you just couldn't get better than that could you next to the man of my life and well, he's well, ordered me, her, currently. currently, and you've ordered me an Aperol Spritz, which makes you even more, just better than usual. For the second time this week, I'm having fruit of the sea spaghetti. And for the second time of the week, David is having spaghetti bolognese. I think we are gonna get some things from in here because this is so nice. Look over here, you can get them in black as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're stunning, aren't they? So that top one, oh, the smaller one is 56 euro and the bigger one is 72. Look at the colours on that though. That's really, really nice. I think the prices are quite fair as well. Everything here is handmade. They are, they're like sweets. They keep catching my eye. <laughs> Do you want to get them as well? Well, we can't ship them back because it's 36. Look, they're all made out of like clay or something. That's really nice. China. These are very impressive. These are. Um, that looks like a fruit bowl. Then we've got kind of like. I can't work out if it's plastic or glass. I mean. Oh yeah, you cut yourself. They're quite amazing though. What are those? They're staples. No, those uh, things. No, no, way. no, those shapes with the picture. The what? The rings? No, those. We've just come to Max Mara because when I walked past yesterday there was a really nice jacket in the window and um, I looked at it online and I cannot actually find it online so I just want to look at it in here. This is it. It's like quite a casual jacket. I don't know if you can see that because the reflection. I just want to try it on. I don't know. I don't know what I think. I also want to have a look at the shoes in here because the shoes aren't on the website yet either. Like the winter boots and stuff. And they've got, they seem to have some. In this particular area of town, there, this is where all of the um, like premium shops are in case you wanted to come here. Allora, I really love the cashmere's in here like look how thick that is but it's really really soft is there more through there like that's quite cropped short but then look at this um i can show you it's um it's kind of like a pearlescent almost gray and i thought that where this is here if you put a belt around that that would look really nice the only thing is oh it's real fur i'm not really into that is it yes so you come down the stairs and look these tiny doorways to get through. 
说，你这个颜色不一样，这颜色都是暗色。是。哎呦，叔叔。I like it. It's very nice. Uh, I think the size it will get better. So yeah. This one is a bit oversized. Yeah. Here, so it's uh, like a balloon yeah. here. It's like a shell. It's really warm. See, it's mm. uh, it's not a light down. It's a more waterproof, uh, like a little trench. Mm. Yeah. It kind of feels like the material feels like a bomber jacket. It's quite thick. What were you going to say? Yeah, yeah. What I was going to show you was I can see the bags through the window on the other side of the store. Ferner. I can zoom in. Ferner. I like Ferner. I can see all the bags. Yeah. And they got them upstairs. I yeah, like the pink. See the pink and the grey bags, they're yeah. nice. This is the name of the store. I'm not going to make any attempt to even try and pronounce that because I will make a mess. So you look down there. Oh, that's where the cafe is. And then can you see all of these? I think this is like Leonardo da Vinci, isn't it? Inspired. That's, that's really sweet. What do you think of that? Yeah, I actually really like this. I've never had an MCM bag before. I like there's like a backpack one that's quite nice. What have you seen? I like it because of the strap. Yeah, yeah. Strap. Mark Jacobs. That's quite novelty, isn't it? A bag that's meant to look like a bag that you get in the store. Oh god you guys, I saw this blazer the other day in here and I am so in love with it. But two things, that out of my size and secondly, I know this will be cheaper in London. Look, it's thick wool, Alexander McQueen and it's it looks like there's two, hang on, maybe there is. No, it looks like there's two, uh, like there's a coat inside a coat. So here you've got like hound, hound tooth and then here you've got, I think this is called Prince of Wales, isn't it? I, mean, like, I love the shape of it, the way it goes in here. I'm gonna look at this when I go back to London. I really like that. I really like this print. Oh, they're cool. I'm, I'm part of... Same price as the other. I'd rather have the others because... You like the style? No, I like it. And also, I think you've got lots of trainer shoes, but the other ones are quite good because they're like more relaxed, but not trainers. Yeah, so it's um, seven in the evening, and you know what? We are both so tired already. I think it's the heat, like we're both melting. My ma oh, there it is, the makeup has come off my face. We've come back to this restaurant that we found the first night we were here, and it's so romantic. It was better the other night because it was evening, like it was dark, and right now it's not dark, but look, this is it. And look at it in here. Can you imagine that when it's dark? It actually looks really romantic. On the table we have breadsticks, <laughs> olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and <laughs> compliments from the chef. We have got mosquito repellent. That that is that is the reality. Honestly, I've never known mosquitoes like it. The crazy thing is here, they must be really small because you can't see them. Whereas in the UK you hear them and see them and they're Hey everyone. It is day well officially it's really day two even though it's day three but day one doesn't count because you half travel david and i today are on our way to see uh, a museum 
And now there is a museum here that uh, really fascinates me. David's like, I'm going along for the ride, but I don't understand what you're getting out of this. The museum has got, it's on an island, and it contains an old mental asylum. And apparently they've turned it into a museum now and like all of the equipment's still there. It looks really freaky and I'm really into that kind of thing. So we're just on our way now from the hotel to go and get a taxi boat at the main port kind of area. So that over, over there is where we've come from. That's St. Mark's Square, St. Marco Square. And this, I think this is the old asylum. Oh my god. David David said to me, he's like, what do you get out of this? I don't understand. He's like, I get museums, but I don't get an old asylum. Oh wow. Can you imagine, just imagine guys, years ago being brought here, a lot of people got sent here and they didn't even have mental illness. They was, you know, they got sent here for various other reasons. Um, for any of you who plan to come here, we didn't really understand it until we've come here. So we've just entered the building now and this was, this is the psychiatric hospital, which apparently only closed down in 1978, which isn't really that long ago. But the, um, the place is uh, sectioned into two bits. So this building now is now a university of the arts and the bit we're walking through now is like the art gallery. The actual asylum i think is in a separate yeah look i think that's the asylum i think that's it there because look there are pictures of what look like patients to get into the actual asylum bit they do a tour where someone takes you around and explains things which is really nice as opposed to just like walking through and what have you and there are set times for that so it's now I think it's like one o'clock or something and the um the tour starts at two and you buy a ticket for it so there's actually stuff to do though because this is the public building so we're just going to like walk around and look at the architecture and look at some of the work here. All right. Hang on. This is quite <laughs> freaky in here. Go on. This is when I died. Right, you've just died. Right, okay. Walk towards the light. Keep going. This better be good. Making that noise. This is, no, this is when I come back to you and you're like... Oh, <laughs> oh no, she's coming back. <laughs> I was going to reap all the YouTube benefits. From this video <laughs> for myself all 20 pence of them so this here this is a poster for the island we are in this building along here so this used to be the the asylum along with all the other bits i think this square one is is where they've kind of moved everything to and that's the asylum museum this is now a university but look at this they used to be a dissection room ancient pharmacy, a church, and then the asylum. Look, dissection room, like why would you need that? If you were sent here back in the day because you weren't feeling mentally very well, there is no way you would be leaving feeling any better. Um, we just started the tour and we're following the tour guide. Um, following the teacher. We're following the teacher and I'm hoping this is in English because I didn't actually look into that. Now we've just come through to this room. Seriously, look at this. How crazy is this? That this looks like a shower, and I don't, I don't know why it looks like that. It's a forced shower. What? A forced shower? Yeah, basically they used to force them to have a shower. And oh my they, god! They obey after the cold shower, apparently. What they? Yeah, and they used to give you baths for twelve hours. You'd have no skin left. And what they'd do? They'd have like a piece of wood keeping your head above the water <gasps> for the whole. Why? And you'd stay in the bath for different temperatures for the different things. So between 10 and 15 degrees, which is cold, and then 12 hours with warm water, 35, 30 and 35. Oh degrees. my god! Okay, so for acute mania, they thought that a warm bath uh, with effusions of cold water or irregulations in water would help. Surprise! Hang on, what? Why is, why is being surprised now considered something that you need to be in here for? Forced baths, condemned among other, oh my god. And then here was the forced shower. What's all this about? Is this the oh, temperature? This the so this so is the doctor would use this. You can see the this. man with the equipment at the top and you can see the taps and stuff there. You what's, see the taps. Yeah, but what's he doing with this? 
I mean, he's whipping them out. Oh my God, that's not going to make you feel better. He's pushing him into the shower. Oh, this, do you know, this isn't, well, he can't get in because there's some guy already. This is crazy. Oh, I've seen that where they t literally tie you to a chair and dunk you in. Joe, so you couldn't, you couldn't make this up. We've just finished the tour. I didn't want to film too much of it because, well, David actually said, he was like, don't, you know, people watch you not for history lesson, they watch you for kind of shopping and stuff, but I wanted to put a bit of it in because really since David and I have been in Venice, we haven't gone shopping. It's not what we came here for. Like the pair of us really like just to wander around aimlessly. I've just seen a gecko, like a little lizard. Can I get over to it? Can I show you something that really um, amazes me? I found um, a tree that's growing pomegranates. I've never seen this. <laughs> I'm gonna have people in different countries going, how have you not seen this? I've never seen a pomegranate tree before. This is amazing. Do you know how much they charge for these back in the UK? Like they, it's like an exotic fruit back home. This is just incredible. If I had this tree, I'd be having mm, pomegranate all the time, just as a snack. We're, um, we're going to get the next boat back, by the way. There's like a boat that comes to Silent. Thank you very much. Salute. Thank you. So we've come into Harry's and it is the place, the place where the Bellini was first invented. Should we try it? Yeah. Sorry, I thought you still cold. So, here we go. Let's see what's on the menu. I thought I could smell curry in here. particular day we went on a half day excursion that you can arrange at your hotel it costs 20 euros each and for that you get taken to Murano which is an island off Venice really well known for making Venetian glass and then you also get taken after that to Burano which is known for making lace and you get tutorials at both places yeah so like where we're sat it's pretty hot and then here's the guy who's going to show us how it all works he has one minute to make this before the glass cools down too much. This skill, the tension is killing me. Oh god, it's so good. Absolutely insane, wasn't it? It yeah. was so good. So what we're going to do now is um, down there. oh, we're yeah. going to go and look at them. Um, and then there's a shop here, and they said you can go and look around the shop. And anything that they have here, like if any of you want to come here, if you're like that's quite interesting. Anything they sell here that's too big that might get smashed if you try to take it home in your luggage, they can actually post it to you. So it'd be really interesting to see. But that was amazing to see that demonstration. We have arrived on the second island. This one is called Burano, and it's well known for lace making, this particular style, like they make jewelry out of it, it looks quite nice. And also colorful houses, so Instagram here. How, that's, I mean, do you know, that's giving like Notting Hill a run for its money there. And we've come to this amazing lace shop. Everything's handmade, but look. They've got Zimmerman style dresses. This top, which I thought would be really nice with a skirt or with jeans. This dress. And then there's like a, a skirt behind it. But look, this is, this is like Zimmerman, only not as expensive. This is, honestly, can you imagine? Okay, then the jumper already got a skirt in here. 
good look amazing. Do you think Yamu Let's do Yamu Do you think yes? Yeah, that one, yeah. Do you think it yeah? Yeah. Try the other one. Okay. So this is, this is the next one. Which, look at all the different techniques in it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. These are the dresses that I was talking to you about. Can you see how stunning they are? And inside, they've got the Dolce & Gabbana peony print ones as well. But compared to Venice, this is really quiet. Like Venice, actually. We've really enjoyed Venice, but the first three days we got here, it was so busy. It was horrible. You couldn't go out for a walk, could you? Do you remember we were walking down to the lanes and you couldn't stop to look in a window? You were getting pushed along. Yeah, you, you were just doing a slalom, basically. It was awful. However, I think that they had cruise ships. They must have done because then yeah. by day three it cleared out and it was it was it wasn't empty, but it was um, you could go back to enjoying it. That's our boat. It's going to take us back. I can't remember how much. Look, guys, if you want to see more of this trip, particularly if you want to see more of the museums and stuff like that, because I haven't put them in this video because you guys are here for shopping. And I know that probably there'll be a group of you that are like, no, I want to see all the cultural stuff. Take it from me. I know from the numbers when I do cultural stuff, the views tell it all. I know that some of you love it, but I think a greater proportion of you don't. So um, if you want to go and see the cultural stuff, go and have a look at my Instagram and I'm going and find this highlight here and I'm creating like a whole thing for it. So if you want to see more of this trip, including like the stupid stuff we've done, not just the, oh, make it look nice for the video kind of thing, then go and look there. But um, any of you who are planning on coming to Venice, if you're looking at this thinking, I quite like that tour you just did to those two islands. It cost us 20 euros each and we did it at the hotel. So all of the hotels have got the same booklet that's got all of these trips in it and it's all done by one tour operator in Venice. Oh my God, that's so naughty. They're for at home. Can I have one? <laughs> we bought these biscuits. They're like, are they lemon? But these were meant to be for at home. No, now. You said you were off carbs after all the pizza and pasta. David's already said uh, earlier, you were like, I'm not eating any more pizza. And then he said earlier, I think I have a calzone for dinner. <laughs> That's not pizza. Well, it kind of, no, well, it kind of is. These are my bags that I ended up taking. This has got my laptop in it. And then this is the hand. I did actually bring my Dior bag, the 30 Montaigne. And I had lots of you asking, do I, do I keep it in my suitcase? It's actually in my hand luggage. So that if my suitcase goes missing, that's not like a lot of money to go and lose straight away. 